Toxic Shock Syndrome TSS, including its variant caused by Staphylococcus aureus known as Staphylococcal Toxic Shock Syndrome STSS, was first recognized and described in 1978. The condition became widely known in the early 1980s when a number of cases were associated with the use of superabsorbent tampons by menstruating women, leading to significant public health concern and subsequent changes in tampon manufacturing practices to reduce the risk. Staphylococcal toxic shock syndrome STSS, is caused by toxins produced by the Staphylococcus aureus bacteria. The infection usually occurs when the bacteria enter the body through skin wounds, which can include surgical wounds, cuts, burns, or any abrasions. This allows the bacteria to breach the skin barrier and potentially release toxins. STSS has also been historically associated with the use of superabsorbent tampons in menstruating women. When tampons are left in place for an extended period, they can create a conducive environment for the bacteria to flourish and produce harmful toxins. Additionally, the use of medical devices such as catheters and prosthetics can serve as a route of infection if these devices become colonized by Staphylococcus aureus and maintain prolonged contact with body tissues. Following surgery, open wounds or the usage of foreign materials like surgical packing can also provide a pathway for these bacteria to enter the body and establish an infection. Once inside the body, Staphylococcus aureus can produce toxins that trigger an excessive immune response. These toxins act as superantigens, leading to severe systemic symptoms, including shock and organ failure, characteristic of toxic shock syndrome. Staphylococcal toxic shock syndrome STSS, is a severe condition characterized by a range of symptoms that can develop rapidly and may quickly become life-threatening. One of the earliest signs of STSS is usually a sudden high fever. This is often accompanied by low blood pressure which can lead to fainting or dizziness as the body struggles to supply organs with sufficient blood, increasing the risk of shock. Patients may also experience a sunburn-like rash that can later lead to peeling skin, particularly on the palms of the hands and soles of the feet. Gastrointestinal symptoms such as vomiting and diarrhea are commonly reported alongside the onset of the illness. Severe muscle aches and general body pains are prevalent. Additional symptoms can include confusion or other mental changes, which occur when the toxins produced by the infection begin affecting the brain. The eyes, mouth, and throat may appear unusually red, and in less common cases, individuals may suffer from seizures or headaches. Due to the rapid progression and severity of these symptoms, STSS requires immediate medical attention. It is crucial for anyone experiencing these symptoms, especially following surgery, a wound infection, or tampon use, to seek urgent medical care to manage the condition and prevent serious complications. Staphylococcal Toxic Shock Syndrome STSS, is a severe medical condition that necessitates prompt and aggressive treatment to prevent life-threatening complications. Patients diagnosed with STSS typically require hospitalization, often in an intensive care unit, to enable close monitoring of vital signs and organ function. The cornerstone of treatment for STSS is the immediate administration of antibiotics. These are crucial for combating the Staphylococcus aureus infection responsible for the condition. The choice of antibiotics may vary depending on the antibiotic sensitivity profile of the specific bacterial strain involved and the clinical judgment of the treating physician. In addition to antibiotic therapy, Fluid replacement plays a vital role in treatment. Patients receive large amounts of fluids intravenously to help stabilize blood pressure and support circulation, which is essential in countering the effects of low blood pressure and preventing shock. Supportive care is tailored to the symptoms and the organs affected. This can include medications to stabilize blood pressure, respiratory support if there are breathing difficulties, and potentially dialysis if kidney function is compromised. Another critical aspect of managing STSS is the removal of any potential source of infection. This includes the prompt removal of any foreign bodies, such as tampons, surgical wound packing, or indwelling devices like catheters, which can harbor the bacteria producing the toxins. Finally, monitoring and managing any complications that arise, such as kidney failure, respiratory distress, or secondary infections, are crucial components of the treatment protocol. This comprehensive, 
multidisciplinary approach ensures that both the infection and its systemic effects are addressed, significantly improving the chances of recovery.